Good morning and welcome back to the half ass Homestead. My name is Angie and we're going to be planting some asparagus and onion seeds today. So now we're going to go over what and why today. I am planting onions and asparagus. It is 16 to 17 weeks out from my last frost date. Um, these are to be planted three to four weeks or eight to 12 weeks before a month before your last frost. So three to four months before your last frost is when is the best desire to plant onions and asparagus. Um, because they are cold weather hardy and they go out a little bit earlier means they need to be started a little bit earlier. Let's talk about long, intermediate, and short day onions. Uh, depending on where you're located depends on what type of onions you're going to plant. I am in the north in the summer, my days are long, I am planting long day onions. Like in the south, you're going to be planting short day onions. I am planting yellow parma. Um, these are supposed to be an excellent storage onion. Disclaimer, I have never planted onions a day in my life. Um, my taller half had onions in the garden last year and they did not do well. And I think I know why. That's a different story for a different day. Onions. So yellow parma is supposed to be excellent. For storage so we are going to try those and weather skilled red onion are also another onion that variety that I am going to plant I'm going to plant far less red onions as they do not keep as well um, so I'm going to plant less of these I'm gonna plant enough but less anyways I have my bowl of onions which onion seeds are um, pretty much the same size as chive seeds I thought they would be smaller for some reason and um, I was wrong. So there's that. So we're going to just plant these. They're supposed to be planted at about a quarter of an inch. So what I'm going to do is make a divot in each cell. And I am going to insert two onion seeds per cell. I will thin them out. Um, may the strongest survive. And now the painstaking task of placing two onion seeds per cell. Um, the reason I am planting two per cell is because it is imperative that all of my cells are full. I have limited space and I want to ensure that all my seedlings are the same size per variety. I want everything off to a great start and if I have to thin it, that's fine with me. Okay, let's talk asparagus. Um, for those of you who don't know, asparagus plants have male and female plants. Um, so female plants produce seeds. Males produce thicker, larger spears than female plants. Um, as far as consumption goes, you really want the male plants. Um, I was really looking for female plants this year because I needed the seeds because we're looking at really, really ramping up the asparagus production. So I found a couple female plants and I harvested the seeds. Um, each, okay, so berries. I, I harvested the berries. Each asparagus plant will put out a few hundred berries. Um, that's probably not even what came off one female plant worth of berries when they're at full mature adult. Um, so each berry can, like contains between like maybe like one to five seeds or so. So I'm just splitting those up and I'm planting individual seeds in my cells. So I think I have a 40 count cell tray here. Um, I am putting three seeds per cell. That's in three individual holes, not one. So I am doing like little bowling ball finger holes um, and then putting a seed per and then just gently brushing the soil over. I'm not planting them, but maybe a quarter of an inch deep, just below the surface. Um, so my plan is to up pot these after a while when they start to grow into like a solo cup um, because asparagus seeds are kind of like pines where they have like, a, they their, their roots grow down instead of out. So uh, I'd, I'd like to... Um, just keep three per solo cup and then 
plant those out and have them all like good to go uh, for for spring and hopefully that's a good start for the bed um, yeah alrighty so since I have everything all planted and ready to rock and roll I am going to water these in really good and get that all ready to go get the humidity domes on and hopefully get germination going so I can start seeing some seedlings in a few weeks here so I hope you guys have an amazing day and I hope some of you are in warmer climates than I am or closer to spring um, but we're like we're, we're still three months out from even nice weather so yeah if you guys want some um, gardening idea like seed starting ideas for you know the shoestring budget to help make things more affordable um, I can definitely help you with that um, as a shoestring gardener for a long time so I know I know all the tricks and you know anything that I have plenty of ideas to help reduce costs in seed starting so if you want a video on that let me know in the comment section down below um, even if you don't ask for it I might just make one anyhow but if somebody actually wants it, it might give me a little bit more drive to do so. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm still kind of working out how I want to film and the style. It's very different than what I used to do. So kind of bear with me. I'm, I'll start to settle in. Um, I have, we have lots of exciting things coming up on the homestead this summer. Um, fruit trees and bees and, and, and all kinds of things. So if you want to stay tuned and kind of see where that goes, that'd be really cool. Um, I just, thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your continued support. Um, so as, as always, happy planting, just get out there and do something. Do something for you.